I like building things with my hands. And so chemistry kind of allowed me to do that in a scientific way and is also a way to fulfill a God-given mission to, to help others. I'm a medicinal chemist, so basically we take potential molecules that might work for some disease, and then we modify those changing individual atoms, trying to optimize them to become potential drug molecules. One of the things that's unique about SLU is that we have a number of drug discovery scientists who have actually worked in the pharmaceutical industry. We started the SLU Institute for Drug and Biotherapeutic Innovation. The SLU IDBI is made up of 70 or so faculty who are interested in drug discovery. We are collaborating with groups around the world on these diseases now. Funders like the National Institutes for Health are starting to see that as well, and so that hopefully will allow us to work on more research into these diseases, and that's all happening here. MPS, or mucopolysaccharidosis, are lysosomal storage diseases that are characterized by the accumulation of sugars inside the cells of the body. This group of diseases that are very rare and are found in children. Patients have skeletal abnormalities. They have a very short lifespan. The preclinical trial of the enzyme replacement therapy that is approved out there was done in our lab. We are looking into the limitations that the treatment has and trying to understand how we can improve that. St. Louis University is recognized internationally for the work that we do. The fact that I work with orphan diseases aligns so well with the mission of St. Louis University. Since not so many people work on those diseases, we can make big changes. Once you meet a patient, once you meet their parents, their family, I think you have a great motivation to do something to help them. My passion is finding treatments for diseases. Early on after I came to SLU, my daughter was diagnosed with a type of muscular dystrophy called fasciocapulohumeral muscular dystrophy. Since I was here, I was able to shift my research focus and apply my drug discovery expertise. FSHD currently has no treatments available whatsoever. It's a slowly progressing disease. We attracted a pharmaceutical company and we're now looking at potential clinical trials. I find it very rewarding to bring students in my lab and see them flourish and actually produce data that helps move the project along. That it's a personal issue is tough. You have to find a pace that you can maintain, but every night I go home and I see my daughter and, you know, that's all it takes. Hydrogels are polymers that form ideal mimics of any soft tissue in your body that then we can use for drug screening. And we also use hydrogels as drug delivery devices. Some of the newest drugs actually are biologics. Those drugs can cure diseases which previously have been thought uncurable, but they have a very narrow therapeutic window. We encapsulate protein drugs in hydrogel biomaterials, which then can be injected. You now have a slow release device at the disease location. What's different from what's available currently on the market is that we are developing materials which can degrade in a desired amount of time. What I'm hoping for is that the devices that we are developing will catch the attention of companies, which will then go on and hopefully bring it to patients. The biotech scene in St. Louis is really attractive to our students and to our graduates. They have opportunities right here in St. Louis. We are creating a pipeline of problem solvers. We came in here with the idea to really focus on what the big pharmaceutical companies were not. Rare diseases, but also neglected diseases, which tend to afflict mostly people in poor uh, countries. And I think that fits very well with the mission of St. Louis University. One of the things that my lab works on is diarrheal diseases. It's in developing countries. It kills between two and three million people per year. Over half a million of those are children under the age of five. We were fortunate to be able to get funding from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation early on. The success of drug discovery really depends on successful collaborations. That again is something that the new Institute for Drug and Biotherapeutic Innovation is set to facilitate. Those of us who have come to St. Louis University from an industry background bring knowledge that is not common on university campuses. We understand the collaboration that it takes in order to successfully bring a new drug into clinical testing. 
we think about the end result every day, it's always at least in the back of your mind that this is why it is that you're doing the research that you're doing. SLU is a great place to work. I have met wonderful people that really help you and support you. The facilities at SLU, the people here are world class. I'm in a very fortunate place to be doing research. There's definitely an atmosphere of, of serving others here, being able to help somebody through discoveries that you made or those that you've trained. It's pretty cool. What we do in the lab, we are not doing it for money, we are not doing it for profit. We are really doing it to help people.